My book's called um, Alabama Moon by White King. When I got back to the shelter, I put my wheelbarrow and the shovel away and went inside. I took off my deerskin jacket and hat, lay down on the piles of hides that we had, hadn't been able to sell, and started the roots in the ceiling. There was always a lot of work to do and no time to rest, but since Pop died, things were not the same. This is about a story where a 10-year-old guy named Boom Blake and his, and his dad tries to survive in the wild because his dad hates the government for some reason. One day, his dad gets a serious injury, so he dies in a few days. But before he dies, he teaches Moon how to survive in the wild, and etc. Et Just before his, his father dies, he tells uh, Moon to go to Alaska since there are more people like them there. <clears throat> Moon tries to figure out a way to go to Alaska during the story, and during his journey, he meets new friends, and he faces a lot of troubles, and that's how the story builds. <clears throat> the main character in this, that appear in this book is a guy named Moon Blake, and there are more characters that appear in the future, but since I don't want to spoil the book for you, I won't say their names. I think the genre of this book is realistic fiction because there are actually some people living out in the wild these days for some reasons. And but they might have exaggerated a little bit, so the story itself seems very really realistic to me. For me, I think the theme of this book is never give up, don't lose hope and things like that. The reason why I thought the theme of this book is this because he faces a lot of troubles and after his father dies, after his father dies, however, he always figures out a way to get out of that problem, and he solves that problem somehow. I recommend this book to people who enjoyed reading The Hatchet, The River, and genres like that. I recommend this book to people who like to read about a 10-year-old guy trying to survive in complete wilderness. If you choose to read this book, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did reading this book. Thank you.